city life from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I am actually considered an independent artist. I have a crew that I work with as well, which goes by uh, Shenanigans, and uh, there's about five of us, but we're also spread out about the states too. We have some members in Chicago, some in Kansas. I mean, there it's kind of a worldwide crew. So um, in effort of trying to build a team, Shenanigans actually met me um, late last year, actually in 2013, and ever since then I've been affiliated with them and we've been doing a lot of music. We try to get a lot of in-house, like for photography and video editing. We have some engineers, but um, it, it's so spread out, you know, across the states that we don't have anything immediate here in Arizona as far as that goes. It's just artists out here. Um, so we have a vocalist, um, and then we have two other rap artists out here, and then myself, so about four of us total, but yeah. Actually, um, right now, a lot of our own projects are kind of on hold because we're doing music together. We actually have a mixtape coming out called PAUSE, which is an acronym. It stands for Progressive Aggression Utilizes Self-Efficiency. So we do have that dropping later on this year. Um, we have a video that's probably going to drop first beforehand just for some promotional reasons and um, additional marketing. But yeah, look out for that mixtape. It's on its way. True hip hop artists. Um, a lot of my music is very conceptual, so you're not going to find any music that's off topic or uh, anything that you have to ask yourself, what is, that, what is that about? You know, I know oftentimes I get very irritated when I hear music that doesn't make sense it's like you know what are you doing it for it has to come from the heart so i do consider myself a true hip-hop artist i like for people to uh, get a vibe of who i am through my music some of my struggles you know some of my pain some of my happy times whatever comes with everyday life is what i apply to my music and i like to share it out with the world because i feel like music is what drives everybody um, that's something that wakes people up in the morning and sometimes if you're down it, it lifts you up so you know those that's the type of music yes my, my birth certificate actually says Lubbock Texas on it and uh, that's just in all honesty but I think that the birth certificate is lying as far as I'm concerned <laughs> because I haven't seen anything else other than the desert you know yeah um, so this is my home um, this is all I know so I represent Phoenix, Arizona to the heart. I've worked with Rude Judy, I've worked with Zonia, I've worked with Mags, I've worked with Fragile. Fragile and I actually have a track out right now called Borrowed Time and you can actually purchase that online through any online store, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes. Um, we actually have a unit, uh, distribution deal on that track so if you, you know, if you guys ever run into that make sure you purchase it for the support. Borrowed Time is a very strong message. It's just about basically being thankful for being alive. Um, another artist I've worked with out here is Luxstar. I've worked with Slim Goody. I've worked with Alphonse. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, some other artists out here that I've recently done features with. Oh, uh, uh, Julie, uh, she goes by Fun Size. I just recently did a feature with her last week. So. I have a lot of features out here, and it's just a matter of time before they actually start putting music out. Oh, no, uh, don't let me forget about TKG. I just I did a feature with her recently. She actually had that played on a internet radio recently as well. So a lot of features out here. I'm open to collaborating anytime, so I stay busy in the studio with collaborations. Uh, right now, I have a producer who is like top of my list right now. He is a godsend for me, and he goes by Bombay. He believes in me to the fullest extent. He's given me so many beats and he's just like, look City, I just wanna see you make it. So that's top of my list for producers. I've also worked with G Major. Um, I've worked with Bobby Sticks, who is not even from Arizona and he's been a, a godsend as well. He sends me a few beats at a time here and he actually is gonna be featuring on my uh, upcoming album. And I'm trying to think of uh, there's Alphonse actually is not only an artist but he's a producer as well and he's supplied me with some beats that's going to be on this upcoming album too. Uh, currently I'm just trying to wear one hat which I encourage a lot of people to do yeah. and that's just sticking to my artistry. I wouldn't be able to, that's just too much you know yeah. I only have two arms and you know I'm not a robot so I yeah, yeah I don't I don't do that but yeah if if I had to I, I do have a 
and a few things that I know about recording and things like that. But I figure that's later, you know. Yeah. But right now, I'm just trying to focus on the music. You know, you can actually put me on almost anything and I will rock out to it, literally. I mean, um, I think the only uh, beat that I haven't actually dived into just yet is, is rock and roll but I'm looking forward to that experience one day because I want to play, I want to be able to have a live band behind me. Yeah. So um, I'm looking forward to that, you know, one day having some rock and roll behind me, but I like any beat, honestly, I really do. Anything, pop, R&B, you know, obviously hip hop, I like it all. So a couple of the older projects that I have out, um, Concrete Jungle, I actually got album of the year for couple years back. I did get FMC of the Year last year as well. Um, I have an album out called Workflow, which is with one of my uh, previous partners, 2Cav, and um, that one is a really good. That's actually one that surfs in the town right now, Workflow, and a lot of people love that. And he and I also have a um, collaborated um, album called Gender, and that surfs in the town. I mean, there's a lot of music out there. You can go to my website, actually, which is citylifemusic.com, C-I-T-Y-L-Y-F-E, music.com, and that'll actually lead you into my SoundCloud page, which you would be able to research some of my, my music. Uh, Tanger Ray, he's actually responsible for putting the cypher together. He actually sent out a post on Facebook and encouraged a lot of the FMC artists out here to come together and he basically made it an open invite and anybody that responded to it was able to get on. We were up to 19 girls originally for that FMC cypher and uh, by the time it was all said and done we had 12 and it was phenomenal. You know, I, I definitely enjoyed the experience. A lot of the ladies that were a part of it are very humble, very respectful, and um, it was just a wonderful experience. I, I would do it again if I was asked to do it again.